Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Painted. In this video, we are going to be opening up this month's model box. Guys, if you don't know what model box is, check the links in the description below. You've got the first video I ever did where I explain it. Subscription-based box and you get some miniature related model hobby stuff every month in the post but yeah there's a link where i go through all the stuff there there's also a discount below if you would like to save yourself 10 percent. i'm not affiliated i don't make any money from that so just save yourself some pennies if you would like now you might be wondering why have i got two boxes for once and that is because for the first time i thought what we might do this is the new box is just have a look at what we got last time i unboxed a video i kind of put these as a review slash unboxing but i can't really review them too heavily because I don't use them but this time I thought let's look what we got last time because I've used absolutely everything let me know in the comments below if this sort of thing is useful and if not I won't do it or if it should be a separate video let me know anyway so there's a few things in this box one of them is actually still on the side the paintbrush the reason this is on the side is I've been using it to do eyes it's so 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 fine and I think it's really really great for eyes so first of all the triple zero model books brush i'm not sure it is rosemary and co somebody let me know in the comments below if you know if this one is it just felt a bit synthetic but nevertheless it's it's very very precise for just dotting on a couple of pupils that sort of thing if you've been watching the videos recently as much as i'm terrible at painting eyes i am hitting some pupils in a reasonable position so the paintbrush yeah used that quite quite a lot we had this this stuff from the painter's bakery so this was the the brush soap now i have used it used it a couple of times now and i mean it's the exact reason i don't already own any paint brush washers because i don't know does it do anything it's hard to tell it doesn't not do anything the brushes feel clean when i'm done with them but they kind of feel clean when I just use water so I'll keep doing this because maybe it builds up and certainly once I've washed it it does look like it's got a nice fine tip on my my brushes so yeah it's fine I I can't say if it does anything or if I'm imagining it but I'm going to keep using it put it that way their painter's milk so this is a sort of medium to thin down your paints but it keeps that um the pixel count up not the pixel count the pigment up and I, I use this i thought nothing of it and it's actually really good i prefer this can we see how much i've used it's that kind of milk it's kind of hard to tell but i've used quite a bit already i've been using this instead of water to thin my paints i think it's fine i just chuck in a little splash a little drop i thin it down a little bit and it's thinning my paints and the, the paint's still pigmenty so quite impressed with this going to keep using it um yeah nothing no no nothing to complain about here and I don't know what it, what's in it. I can't drink it, which still upsets me, but that's doing good. The, the, the key thing is I'm using all this stuff. In fact, in this box, I used absolutely everything. I painted up this Northumbrian tin soldier. Now, I didn't do a great paint job. I did this while holding a baby stood up walking around my island in the kitchen. So I think it's it's not bad with that in mind it was just something to pass the time something i didn't care particularly about because i have no use for it but i just wanted to paint so you know we all want to just paint sometimes don't we so this was a nice model it's got a lot of weight to it which felt quite handy when i'm walking at the same time so i can still feel that i'm holding it that sort of thing so that got painted enjoyed that that goes with my other northumbrian tin soldiers got a few of those now and then the other one and i don't mention this enough guys model box run a painting competition every month to do with what is in this box this was my five-year-old and and my help uh go at it this last last time we entered I, I don't know if i'm a month behind now but last time we entered we painted up rocks the model box fox with his little birthday cake it was based but it, it it, it was a cupcake so it got eaten after we, we entered the competition so yeah that was enjoyable I, and i don't stress that enough the painting competition it doesn't mention that in the box it's not obvious it's there but it's every single month it's on facebook in the group and it's absolutely fantastic really really nice prizes as well if you're ever lucky enough to win and it's just fun it's a reason to go and paint especially what's in the box it gives you an active reason to get one of them done at least so guys that was that let me know in the comments below if that's helpful. I've never done that before, but seeing as I used absolutely everything in this box for once, I thought it was worth uh, worth showcasing it does get used. I actually should do it all the time and showcase when things don't get used, but that's normally down to me not having enough time, so it doesn't feel completely fair. This one's not even open. You're going to have to bear with me for a sec. Right. Oh... I'm not going to look at the top because I think I'm a month behind. So I don't think I actually know 
at all what is in here because I feel like I missed Amazon, but maybe it's just late. It feels like it came on a random day, um, but I've lost all track. I thought it was Wednesday today, and as it turns out, it's Thursday. Who knows what day it ever is? So what have we... Oh, this looks nice, though. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Did I miss the Amazon box? I've, I've lost track. Anyway, let's have a look what we've got here. I'm, I can tell it's going to be wastelandy, apocalypse just from this grotesque-looking thing and the fact it said Fallout. Let's start, not with the miniatures. Wow, there's three miniatures. They've been getting less and less miniatures, I feel like. There's normally just two, which I actually prefer two really high-quality miniatures is better for me than, than lots of them, but we'll have a look at them in a minute. So guys, if you're unfamiliar, there's always some candy. Uh, it looks like some sherbet straw, so that always keeps the kids, or Benson. Occasionally me, when it's Haribo, I feel like I might eat the Haribo. So some sweeties, uh, there's always two paints, and I love when it's something Ran well, not random, random's the wrong word. I've heard of Instar now, but a lot of you may not have heard of Instar. And that's one of the beauties of these subscription boxes that you get brands you've not heard of. Now I have heard of Instar, but I don't have many of their paints. So here we have the Instar Alphas. I have to go and check what that means. I, th I feel like it matches old, uh, old colors, like the old world Citadel ones, something like that. Maybe that's the Alpha, I can't remember. D don't take my word for it. You can look up what they're, alpha means and I will do after this video but here we've got a rust brown that's a nice looking brown and an acid green that's a very bright vibrant green so I don't have these colors I don't have anything particularly that close to these colors actually so that's not nice. love the bottles that they come in these Sophie my five-year-old and uh, my five-month-year-old five-month-year-old that's not right is it five-month-old cannot get into either. So I enjoy those lids. And I also like the smaller bottles. I, I'm still using my original, are they 17 mil army painter sets? I've never run out, I've only ever run out of Necromancer cloak. I've never run out of another color. So I like when they're smaller, take up less space. Then we've got some grass tufts. These look kind of, kind of hard to tell what they are. How would you describe these? Let me know in the comments below how you would describe these. Oh, it's gonna say in the, pamphlet that fruit to one side isn't it but guess now guess now they're kind of like wastelandy they're they're lovely they're, oh they feel so soft it's uh and they've got different size ones i wonder if these are army painter ones the ones i haven't got though so i've got a whole bunch I've probably got between five and ten different sets of army painter ones so it's, a, it's weird that i haven't got this one so that's cool and you can't have enough tufts. I, I personally, if you're gonna do your base, I mix a couple of similar themed. It doesn't quite make sense if you've got one end of the spectrum against another end. That's not always great, but two that are similar. So these are a bit similar to Highland Tufts. So I now can mix those two together and I get a more unique looking base every time. Let's move the box out of the way. You guys don't care about the box. Sayonara. There you go, multicultural. So we've done this. So we're onto the miniatures. Which should we start with? We'll save the exclusive model box miniature till last let's go and look at this random little dude from crooked dice so just what i mentioned with instar so i hadn't heard of instar i have now i use a fair few of their paints and and just just like that i've never heard of crooked dice this is brand new to me so now i've got a new company to go and look up online and see what else they make but let's have a look at this miniature first it's probably a good idea to paint it as well before I get too excited by them. Oh, I have to build it and it's metal, guys. Stop with the metal, it's so much effort. So he's okay, right? He's very wastelandy, apocalyptic based. He's got some big armor, nice little beard, and then this big ass gun. So he's good. I don't know what I'd use him for. You guys, if you watch the channel, I'm never that keen on sci-fi. It's just always a bit of a miss. I, I like the fancy. Except that one time Modelbox did sci-fancy. Was that an, an area, a niche I'd never heard of and now absolutely love. Let's look at this Fallout one. So I'm guessing, can you play this in the game? I don't have any Fallout games. Wasteland Warfare. Is that a, um, a war game? Can we play? trying to see quickly on the box I'm unsure of but it, it definitely looks like this can be played in a game I mean the crooked dice one might be played in a game but there's no indication to me what game that is it just looks like picture oh my lord did you see that there's like little tiny bits I did not pay attention to what was in the box and now I may be missing some oh this feels lovely I think it's is it resin it's just got that that feel to it where it needs a wash so the paint actually sticks to it but it's cool nevertheless so this is some sort of 
Fallout, you dude? What is this? Whoa, is this like the power armor? I've not played Fallout in 10 years. That's a long time. Am I missing out? Is it still good? I played it when it was Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics back in the day. But that is a nice looking Fallout miniature. So that's cool. That's really nice. Give that some power armor, some paint. But if it is power armor, isn't it always just a bit like shiny and or rusty? I feel like that's all you do. It's nice that it comes with a textured base. I do dig the textured base. Just you get to make the base look awesome and you're forced to do it because it's it's there. Well, I guess you're not forced to do it. You could go and stick it to a plain base, but you're, I'm forced to do it because I will be sticking it to that base. It's a bigger than normal base, isn't it? What size is that? It looks huge. It's bigger than 32, isn't it? It's massive. Why is the base so big? He just looks like a normal dude. I guess he's not. He's got power armor on, right? Right, right. Somebody let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure that's power armor. 10 years. I think it's more than 10 years, isn't it? When was... When was Fallout Tactics out? I think that was the last one that I played. That is how out of the game I am. And then last but not least, model box. I'm just throwing that across the room even though it might have something interesting in it. Model box exclusive. So these are designed and sculpted and created just for model boxes. It's the only place you can get it. They do sell them individually on their site while stocks last. So you can pick them up after the fact. At some point, I don't know how often they come up but they're always so sweet. This is lovely. Look at that. That is that is a nice looking sculpt. Looks a bit grotesque, doesn't it? Bubbling away from the apocalyptic wasteland theme. Definitely got to be something like that. Yeah, I'm loving that. Can't see that not getting some paint immediately. So here we go, guys. So this definitely going to get painted almost instantly, I would say. This will... I will keep this actually because this looks like the sort of, his head's rolled off. This looks like the sort of miniature that will be good for demonstrating something specific to you guys on the channel. Let me know in the comments below if you can think of something that you would like to be demonstrated specifically with that. Maybe not a tutorial for the whole miniature, but maybe some aspect of it in particular. And then this little dude, again, and I've got no use for him. He's, he's nice. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with him. I just personally haven't got a use for him. So he'll be going in the giveaway box. And then the paints, not got them, so that's always a bonus. And even if I had the toughs, I go through them. They do run out, so it's never, never, you can never have enough tough guys. Get some toughs. It just makes your base look so easy with so little effort. And then some some sweets for the sweet teeth, tooth, sweeties out there, sweet peeps, whatever. Anyway, guys, that is everything in the box. As I mentioned, let me know all those things I asked you to make comments on down below. Hit like, hit subscribe, say hi. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Whoopsie, I forgot to mention everything on the card. Not much to cover. I was spot on with absolutely everything. It was Wasteland. The exclusive model is a mutant. Yeah, he looked grimy and grubby as anything. Uh, I like that it goes on to say it was inspired by the favorite movies, The Goonies. I was like, is it? Uh, and it's supposed to slight resemblance of sloth. I'm like, yeah, slight, right? And then it goes, uh, it's only a slight nod though. And I'm like, yeah, 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 fair, fair, fair enough. A slight nod, I'll, I'll give you that, but yeah, without saying that, I don't know, I was going to rip you to shreds. Then it goes on to talk about the Sentinel Lovely Jane. That looks probably like who I got. Uh, and it is it is a game. There's this game called 7TV, cinematic style skirmish. So you can check that out. Next month is Outlaw. Ooh, Wild, Wild West themed, maybe? We'll see. Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor. So it was Power Armor. It's, I said it would say. And then we got some Tufts. Oh, this might have been at random, but definitely felt like Wasteland Tufts, didn't it? And then Instar Paints. Doesn't say what the alpha ones are. I can't remember. It means something. It means something. Anyway, guys, that's everything in the box. See you again next week. This is the new one. I thought maybe I could do a quick review and just. Uh, uh, oh, this is this is not this is not the new one. I mean, this is not the old one. What am I even talking about? I'm so tired.